Good morning everyone. So right now it is currently quarter past nine in the morning. A lot of work has to get done. In this video I'm getting straight to the point. My eggs are currently cooking right now. Then I'm going on a quick walk. Then I'm going straight to the gym. Then the sauna. I have a lot of work to do today. A lot of consultation calls with potential clients. A lot of editing to do because today I'm going to make sure that this future video gets out early. And a lot more work. And plus good news. It is my last training day today of the week because I train four days per week. So I'm going to get this shit done. Then I have three days off to let my body rest. Because my body right now is so so, so sore. I should probably take a rest day today, but I'm gonna go in and have a quick pump up session just so I can get this shit done and then enjoy the next three days. But yeah, that's where we're at. Time for my fucking eggs, and then I'm out walking straight away. Let's go. Six eggs, a bit of lettuce. Cannot wait to have. Today's gonna be a good day. We're done the gym. It is currently 11.30 a.m. About to go into our sauna and a swim. Cannot wait for it now. And of course, I did my 45 minutes cardio as per usual straight after. It felt quite weak, so did keep the weight down a bit. Kept the reps nice and high though. Kept up that intensity. So we got done in the sauna. Had a shower after. War fucking shower of my life. Just a heads up, this is going to be disgusting, all right? This is going to be crude when I'm about to say. But I was waiting for the shower for about 30 minutes. I didn't knock at the door. I wasn't disrespectful. I was like, right, I'll leave him enjoy a shower. He came out and I said, you know what? I can't wait for this shower. I deserve it. After the gym, 45 minutes cardio, being in the sauna, a swim, the least I deserve is a shower. I walk in and there's ginger pubes scattered all over the floor. I shit you not, it was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. It ruined my whole shower. Oh, I actually wouldn't wish it upon anyone. <laughs> What the fuck, like? Oh my, what is wrong with some people? Like, can you not fucking wait until you get home? <laughs> oh my god. No wonder when I got out of the shower, because I had a fucking fast one. He was after <laughs> dipping straight away. He knew what was up. <laughs> but anyways, now it's time to go for a walk and get some steps in. I'm out right now once again, getting some more steps in. I left my car packed over at the gym, and I said, you know what, now I'll walk over and buy myself the monster. Because today I've ticked everything off so far, except steps. So yeah, that's what we're currently doing. What a motivation. So I just got back home, got a good few steps in. We're probably sitting at around 5,000 so far for the day. Currently 2.30 p.m. We have my second meal right in front of me here. However, I can't eat the full thing just yet because I do have some consultation calls now. So second this call is done, I'm eating that whole thing because I'm so, so hungry. One bad thing though about eating no carbs really is the fact that my pumps are shit. When I'm training, I really just don't get a pump whatsoever anymore. Second, those carbs get in my system. I'll be living my best life. But yeah, that's the plan. Hop on a few consultation calls, eat this, maybe go on another walk and then do a lot of work. Excited for it. So I'm currently in the middle of doing a fuckload of work, but I forgot to mentioned earlier when I went to go buy my monster. This is what I came out with. Pink monster, everyone knows what the fuck that tastes like. But the sour apple rain sounds amazing. Time to taste it. My finger's fucking sore. Oh, I love that sound. Mm. I love it. I actually fucking love it. That is fucking wow. Wow, wow, wow. Right, back to work. I said in yesterday's video that I do not forget things and I was 100% right because of course my greens powder is over here. Ah! Mm. Ah, fuck. If I forget to put it in a video, you guys can harass me in the comments. Built this mob as well for fuck's sake. Looks like Shrek's jizz or something. And you won't believe it, lads. I actually got done editing the video this early. I still have two meals left. I can't lie, my cravings are bad. Like, they're really bad right now. So what I'm gonna do in a second is go for a bit of a walk, meet one of the lads, and without doubt, that'll take my mind off being hungry. This is a jelly, by the way. Can't really see it. There we go. Hartley's strawberry jelly, sugar-free. It comes in clutch for cravings. I promise you, it is the nicest thing ever. Genuinely doesn't feel like I'm dieting when I'm eating this. So as you know, I was meant to meet one of the lads. His phone died, there was a bit of confusion. He ended up going to the gym. It worked out fine either way because I went off, got a few steps in, have a thousand steps left to go right now. But truth of the day, you saw that my energy levels were really, really high. Took a bad turn there within the last hour or two. No energy, I'm fatigued, not feeling the best. So I'm about to go home now, get a meal into me, go out and get my last thousand steps in, and then I'm gonna chill out for the night. I definitely need these three rest days that I have now, 100% need them. I'm so, so fatigued now at the moment, and we're coming into peak week. So these three days i cannot wait third meal of the day about to go down it's the usual mince and chicken i don't even have to explain it at this point currently out for a walk 10 p.m so it's an early night walk for me right now only have 500 steps left we'll get that very easily i am freezing but all day yesterday i felt a bit off i kept sniffling last night i couldn't stop coughing very very nauseous and then one of you guys commented yesterday on a video of mine and he said sean wait until you get the keto flu i had heard of this but i never researched it so i looked it up on google and it said the keto flu is a group of 
symptoms that may appear two to seven days after starting a ketogenic diet. It actually is a thing. I know the drill. My jelly with Greek yogurt and protein and some ginger tea. This is how I'm spending every single night now. Haven't really seen my friends. I literally don't have time to be messing around, scrolling on social media or texting anyone. I am locked in and I'm loving it. It's pure isolate. But I'm so, so focused, so, so driven and I am ready for what's ahead. Day four down. I'll see you in tomorrow.